All right, guys, you clicked on this video. Why? Because you want to manifest what you desire. And I am going to tell you the number one way to do that. It's simple, but it's not easy. Simple and easy, not the same thing. But it's so obvious. It's probably sitting right in your face. It's going to shock you. It's going to surprise you, but it's going to work. And that is the most important thing you need to know. Welcome everybody. This is Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Normally, my videos are astrology and tarot focused, but I'm a spiritualist. I'm an astrologer and tarot card reader. And yes, I really do believe in this stuff. And I am going to teach you using all of my experience from life, from tarot, from astrology, from college, from education, but to put it all together, wrap it all up in a pretty easy package for you to access the one thing that you need to know to manifest your desires and manifest them so completely they never go away. Your life actually changes. Are you ready to hear it? Before you do, please remember to boop that like button and tell me that you're enjoying this video. And then check out the rest of the videos on the channel. I'll attach some toward the end that you can check out. Remember, I do 12 weekly Zodiac tarot card readings, and you can rely on those. I also have a second YouTube channel, Astrology Motivation, where I go live every day and you can live chat with me. I hope to see you in both places. So without any further ado, what is the number one simple way to manifest what you desire? You ready? Are ya? Are ya? Are ya? Gratitude. Did I just get like all of you pissed at me? Are you pissed? Did you think it was going to be candles? mantras, some fucking yoga pose that nobody but a real guru can do. What did you think it was going to be? A secret in a, a zodiac chart or some mystical magic book that I had that I could give you a spell and teach you how to do it and give you the ingredients. Did you think that that's where it was? Because if so, <clears throat> nope, it's none of those things. In fact, the only thing that you need, you already have, and that is you. You don't need to be helped any longer. You've always had the power to go back to cancer. I have. Then why didn't you tell her before? Because she wouldn't have believed me. She had to learn it for herself. Honestly, do you think the universe would have taken as much time as it took to evolve and grow and develop people if it wasn't important and powerful? You only spend time on things that are important to you. Everybody knows that. And you really are so powerful. There is nothing that you need from the outside. You give the outside things the power. They don't give it to you. The power really has been inside of you all along. Now, how do you tap into that power that is going to help you manifest the life you desire. Gratitude is the simple one thing that you need. Now, if you notice, rewind the video if you need, I have never said this was going to be easy because bitch, please, shit ain't easy. It takes time. If it's only for the patience and tenacity that you have to put into not only the mindset, but the hard work behind the mindset, there's nothing that happens overnight, but I can tell you that gratitude does change your life. It changes it permanently. Do you want to know how? It changes your mindset. It really does have tremendous impact on the way you see your reality. And the way that you see your reality helps you start creating the reality that you actually want to live in. You see a path of positive desirability so much more clearly when you're in a positive mindset. What, what, what? 
can you do today? Like an actual thing where you can feel that I, I'm doing something. I'm actually making this happen. I'm committing myself to gratitude daily. Say three things you're grateful for right now. Oh dear God, thank you so much. Oh dear universe, thank you so much. Oh dear Allah, thank you so much. Oh dear Jesus, thank you. It doesn't matter what you say. You can just say out loud, I am so grateful. Thank you so much for three things. Find them. I know they're there. Even if those three things are, thank you so much for the breath in my lungs and all the air around me. I have more than I could ever breathe by myself. Thank you so much for me waking up this morning. I am so happy and grateful for this next chance at life. Thank you so much for this water I just took a drink of. Thank you so much for this blanket that covered me. Thank you so much for the clouds in the sky. Thank you so much for the fact that it just rained. Thank you so much for the fact that I have eyesight. Thank you so much for my hearing. I mean, I could keep going on because there really is so many things to be grateful for. And once you realize that, you can kick yourself out of that other mindset that's keeping you from living the life that you absolutely adore. And I gotta tell you right now, I'm just gonna, another big secret, another big reveal. What you think you want and what you've been wishing for is a bunch of bullshit. You have no idea how good it can get because you're limited. Only God can really show you how good it can get. And by God, I mean the universe. I mean the all. I mean the everything. I don't mean it in the context of that strict religious way of looking at it. I mean you being connected to that higher power. You being connected to that meta consciousness is going to enable you to manifest a life that was beyond your wildest dreams because the everything is beyond your wildest dreams. Your wildest dreams are based on what you've already experienced, which means they're limited. So all those wishes and all those wants and all those desires are actually limitations. The way that you access what's beyond that is you connect every single morning with the universe through gratitude. Thank you, universe. I am so happy and grateful for. I am so happy and grateful for. I swear to you, if you find three things, you'll find a fourth and you'll find a fifth. And your prayer will take a lot longer than you think because there's actually a lot more in your life to be grateful for. Now, the words to stay away from. I want, I wish, I desire because all of those are words of lack. All of those are words that put you in the mindset of, I don't have it. I'm waiting for it. I want it. I desire it. I wish for it. But it's the focus then is on, but I don't have it. I don't have it. If you focus on what you do have, you create the energy of abundance inside of you and it starts to radiate outside of you and energy attracts energy. So even though you think, oh, isn't it limiting, Michelle? Isn't it limiting if I just say I thank you for what I already have when I want something more? No, you're limiting yourself by not being grateful for what you already have. If you focus on the gratitude, the appreciation, and that you have, more have comes to you. Now, if you want to go ahead and light your candles, do it. If it helps you to focus, see all of these things, you know, these silly things that I use every day, all of these things that I use every day, all they are is tools. The magic really comes from you. You're the energy generator. <laughs> they aren't. So whatever tools you want to use, that fill your heart with joy and help you focus on gratitude. Go ahead, light your candles, stare into a flame. All of these things are physical material that we can interact with that will help us to focus our minds. But it is the mind and particularly the soul that is the most powerful aspect of you. And if you can focus that on gratitude, you radiate gratitude. So. How long will this take? Uh, you think I timed this shit? 
I can tell you that absolutely it will take longer than you think, but if you're really in the mindset of gratitude, it will feel a lot shorter. Because when you start saying thank you every single morning, it's almost like the world around you starts to change right away. Now, they say that behaviors, and by they I mean psychologists, and I'm not one of those, say that a new behavior can form within 28 days. So that what I suggest is that you commit yourself to doing what I've suggested for the next 28 days. Do it between moon cycles. That's energy outside of you that you can help connect with to magnify all the energy you're putting forth. For 28 days, wake up and say three things you're grateful for. Now, it's hard to get out of the mindset of I want, I want, I want. And how do you say that I want or I desire without getting yourself into that mindset? I'm going to tell you what phrase you can use. And it is a magical phrase because what it does is it takes desire and it refocuses it back to gratitude. You ready? Here it is. That phrase is, dear God, universe, whatever you want to put in. Dear God, please align my desires for myself with your desires for me. What that does is it brings God back into the equation. It brings the universe into your life and into your heart and it reinforces the connection between you and what's infinitely larger than you. It leaves room for that other voice to come in and impact you and affect you and guide you in ways that are going to heal you and help you that you were too limited to see. Dear God, please align my desires for myself with your desires for me. I am so happy and grateful for, and then go. Just let it roll. And you'll start to see by the 28th day how easy it is and how much your life has changed because you feel so much better because you've changed how you see the world because you've changed the mindset you're using to live in it. I love you guys. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and enjoy all those 2000 plus messages that I have for you.